Hey guys, it is me again. Today is uh, Tuesday, the 4th, September the 4th. Makes it day 248 on our Daily Bread Project 2012. Man, I can't believe we're already in September. Guys, this summer, I don't know. I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> I tell you, it just, and it was gone. I don't know. Anyway, guys, uh, it is good to be here tonight. I do thank you all for being here and the few that are left watching. Uh, guys, I got to apologize for not being here last night. Um, it really couldn't be helped last night. You know, uh, guys, I got so sick yesterday evening. Um, my stomach just got to killing me last night I'm trying to think how to tell this not give up too much information not uh you know not get not uh you know what I'm saying not say anything disgusting is what I'm trying to say on, on uh the internet here you know uh you guys I just um this heart medicine that I take makes me irregular we'll put it that way and I guess I had been a little irregular for too long and I started eating next I started eating uh, granola bars uh, Quaker chewy granola bars uh, just you know because they're good I like them you know and uh, you know they're good for you and I started eating uh, Cheerios too and Cheerios got a lot of fiber in it granola's got a lot of fiber in it and uh, so anyway, guys, what I'm trying to say is I came up here yesterday evening right after supper and my stomach was just killing me and um, like I needed to use the bathroom, but I couldn't, you know, I would go, I would go sit on the, on the uh, toilet for half an hour, couldn't do anything. I'd come back and I mean, I was just, I was curled up here on my bed in a fetal position in pain. I mean, it was just killing me. You know, uh, like I said, just one, you know, the worst pain in your stomach in the world, you know, and you could tell that's what it was that I needed to use the bathroom, but like I said, I couldn't. So anyway, guys, last night, uh, late, I don't remember what time it was, I finally did use the bathroom and the pain went away and it was the biggest relief in the world. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's why I wasn't here. I mean, I was just. And after, even after I used the bathroom, it was just a, I don't know, I was just drained. I mean, I was just, I felt so bad I couldn't understand it. So, anyway, guys, that's, that's the reason I wasn't here. Uh, I was telling my buddy about it last night. He called right after I finally got some relief. My buddy I work out with, and he said, you know what? He said, I have got some fiber made by Optimum Nutrition, which is the same company that makes the vitamins that I take. Uh, he ordered it, I guess, and, and never took it. He said, anyway, I'll give that to you. He said, it's, you know, you, I guess it's kind of like the, the metal mucils that you see that's, it's, you know, clear. You can mix it in a drink or mix it. It's tasteless, odorless. He said, you know, you mix it in anything and, you know, he said, it'll, it'll add a lot of fiber to your diet, you know, help, you know, keep you more regular. And, uh, so he gave that to me this evening, um, when we met and worked out. And so I started taking it this evening. And it says to start with one scoop, which is like five grams of, of fiber. It said for, you know, a day or so to see how you acclimate to it. Because it said, you know, some people one scoop would be enough or, you know, not to take too much of it at a time, I guess, to see how it's going to act on you. So I took one today and, and I've still been eating my Cheerios and, and everything good. I'm going to try to stay more regular, guys, because that's just, it's, it, it's it's miserable to not be you know regular to go you know to just get stopped up like that just to be honest about it. like I said I don't want to get vulgar but you know just to be stopped up like that and not be able to use the bathroom man it's it's bad but anyway he gave that to me and between all that I'm, I'm praying that that'll that'll start keeping me more regular so anyway guys that's why I wasn't here um, I guess there's not I didn't really do anything spectacular you know didn't try to bench I mean I benched some I benched uh, you know did kind of a not my regular uh, pyramid bench workout, but because uh, we didn't really do a bench workout today. But you know what my buddy said? He said, you know, 
don't hurt to bench every time you work out, no matter what you're working, you know, because especially where I'm trying to go up on my bench. So I benched 140. Uh, I did uh, three, well, two sets of 10. I did it 10 times, then 10 times. Then my last set, I did it 13 times. And that's actually a new record for me. Uh, so I felt good about that, especially considering I worked out Sunday night with my brother-in-law. I, I don't know if I told you guys that or not. I guess I did. Uh, that night, yeah, well, yeah, Sunday night, I made a video last night, I didn't, uh, and my triceps, man, which they're still, they're just aching, uh, which I know that, you know, when they heal, that's going to be good, you know, they're, they're going to be stronger, but, uh, considering I was hurting that bad, and, you know, I benched 140 13 times, uh, you know, that's pretty, pretty good for me, so, anyway, guys, that, like I said, that's about all the jibber jabber, uh, so let's get started with the important thing tonight, guys. Titus, chapter 3, starting in verse 11. Here we go. Knowing that he that is such is subverted and sinneth, being condemned of himself. When I shall send Artemis unto thee, or Tychius, be diligent to come unto me to Nicopolis, for I have determined there to winter. So Paul, he's basically just saying, I'm going to stay there over the winter. Bring Zenus the lawyer and Apollos on their journey diligently, that nothing be wanting unto them. And let ours also learn to maintain good works for necessary uses, that they be not unfruitful. All that are with me salute thee. Greet them that love us in the faith. Grace be with you all. Amen. And it says, It was written to Titus, ordained the first bishop of the church of the Christians from Nicopolis of Macedonia. So, Anyway, guys, um, that was, what, about four verses? So I know this is not very good planning, but we're going to go right on into going into Philemon tonight. As long as we get our, our scripture in us, guys, that's all that matters. You know, like I, I've said at Church Sunday, there were several verses that I read. I said, you know, really, if I wanted to, I could preach a whole sermon on one verse. That's the thing about the Word of God, guys. You, you can extrapolate so much out of, every, out of every single verse. It's just unreal. So anyway, guys, Philemon 1.1 1, 1, says, Paul, a prisoner of Jesus Christ, and Timothy, our brother, unto Philemon, our dearly beloved and fellow laborer, and to our beloved Appia and Archippus, our fellow soldier, and to the church in thy house. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God making mention of thee always in my prayers, hearing of thy love and faith, which thou hast toward the Lord Jesus and toward all saints that thy communication of thy faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. So guys, you know, we're just getting here again, another, you know, um, you know, another um, letter that Paul, you know, Paul keeps writing these letters to different people, to different cities, to different, you know, churches. Uh, you know, because Paul cared about him and he wanted him to, you know, live the right way, you know, in the Lord. You know, somewhere we got to love each other and, and uh, guide each other, you know, in the ways, you know, that we're supposed to do. And when we mess up, we're not supposed to, you know, be mean and we're not supposed to not forgive each other. We're supposed to forgive each other, point out our flaws, you know, but we do it. We need to do it constructively, you know, just like I've talked about before here on these YouTube videos. I've heard some other of the garage guys say that too, you know, that. You know, there's a way to tell somebody they're doing something wrong, but you need to do it constructively. You need to give constructive criticism, you know. And, you know, you need to examine yourself as well before you do it e either way because, you know, we need to be as right as we can when we go and and, uh, and even giving constructive criticism, criticizing somebody else. We need to go and, and help them, you know, help them along the way, so. Anyway, guys, that's where we're going to stop tonight. We'll get into maybe some more interesting stuff tomorrow night. Matter of fact, I know we will. So, anyway, guys, I love you all. As always, thanks for being here. Guys, normal, just pray for us. Uh, you know, it's supposed to rain quite a bit this week, and we got all these festivals and stuff coming up. So, just pray for our business that it'll stay strong. So far, it is. I mean, but, you know, just keep praying for us, guys. I know the Lord's going to take care of us. Um, I guess that's about it. I really can't think of anything else. 
Uh, I've got a five gas analyzer guy supposed to be coming next week from Snap On. Uh, maybe when I get that, I'll do y'all video kind of showing how that works, showing how you can actually tell the condition of a of a car and and, and kind of you know the engine and, and all that going by the, the checking the gases that come out of the tailpipe. So something I've needed for a long time. You know, you can do a lot of things with a gas analyzer. And if we ever start doing vehicle inspections around here again, which I mean, I, I don't. I don't see it really around the bend, but you know, you never know what could happen. Uh, you know, you'll need a, a, a five gas analyzer to do emissions testings for cars. So, anyway, guys, I'm gonna go. I got one coming, so I'll maybe show y'all that next week. But anyway, guys, like I said, thank y'all for being here. All y'all that helped me. Uh, Gamble twenty one eighty five, brother. I, I just want to ask you again, and I, I, I'm gonna go back through the videos. I can't remember, brother, which video it was that I asked, which I ask everybody. But I so I, like I said, I guess I'll go back. But uh, not only asking Gamble, but any of you guys again, if you ha if you know any way that I can transfer that motorcycle tape off that DVD, a motorcycle video onto my computer's hard drive, let me know. Uh, like I said, guys, I I get some of my days mixed up sometimes, and uh, I guess I could just go back for about the last ten days and look at comments. I guess that's what I need to do, but. Anyway, guys, forgive me for my uh, shortcomings. I really love you all. So anyway, guys, good Lord willing, I'll be here tomorrow night. Until I see you all again, good night and God bless.